Welcome to our guide on setting up the eSIM 420 gate controller using the Eldis Utility Tool. In this video, we will walk you through each step, from unboxing the device to ensuring it is fully operational and providing additional tips along the way. eSIM 420 is your ultimate gate controller. It is an innovative device designed to provide high reliability and multiple ways of remote control. Whether you're looking to secure a residential house, a private property, or a parking lot, the ISM 420 offers flexible and efficient control. Let's fly through the key features. Device supports variety of control methods. Eldis Gates app, application designed for end users. Free of charge call, available for all user. Web portal with in-depth monitoring and control capabilities. Brief overview of the specifications. Device supports up to 2,000 users. It can control up to two devices with onboard relay outputs. Three inputs designed to provide status about the connected sensors. Can be powered of from 10 to 24 volts of DC or a C current. Automatic firmware over the air updates for peace of mind and no more on site firmware updates. Event logging keeps track of up to 1,000 events locally or up to 16,000 events on the cloud. Durable design device operates in a wide temperature range from minus 20 Celsius to plus 55 Celsius and withstands humidity levels from zero to 90% relative humidity. First, let's take a quick look at what comes in the box. You should have the ESM 420 main unit in an optional enclosure. It can be provided in a standard enclosure or with an enclosure with DIN rail mounting for standardized DIN rail systems or IP66 protective enclosure, which will allow to mount the device outdoors. Each of these options should include a GSM antenna and mounting accessories. Make sure you have a valid SIM card with sufficient credit or data plan. Insert the SIM card into the SIM slot on the ISM 420. Let's start with a device configuration. Device can be powered up from USB cable just right out of the box. To start device configuration, make sure to download and install the Eldis Utility Tool. Link will be provided in the description. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, or Android operating systems. Once it is installed, open the software. Let's start with the settings that must be set for the device to operate. Let's head to the Administrators tab and set the first Administrator's phone number. Then, let's pick which output the Administrator will control. Administrators will be able to control and configure the device settings. All Administrators have equal permission levels. If Administrators are not required to control the relays by call, then we could assign the feature to allow Administrators to initiate remote connections by call. Let's change the default SMS code to ensure device security and proceed back to General Options. General Options tab provides handy features. Call back to Administrator slash User After Output Control Action feature allow Administrator to receive the confirmation from Controller that the action was received. Send Alarm SMS to all Administrators simultaneously. If this feature is turned off, it informs only the first administrator in case of an alarm. If it is turned on, it informs all administrators. Send Startup SMS feature informs administrator about device, start in case the power was cut off or device was rebooted. These settings are also accessible in Device Settings tab. Let's head back to the Dashboard section. It allows us to inspect general data about the device. Like the GSM signal level, it shows if 2G or 4G is available with or without voice over LTE. This is the perfect indication to decide if the antenna mounting position is correct. We could manually set the time, but if the device was started with an active SIM card, it will automatically synchronize time while connecting to a GSM network. Don't forget that you can leave contact information and notes, which later on will be accessible via the Installations tab which allows managing all installed devices. Click the Right Settings button 
to save the configuration to the device. Let's proceed to the user database section. The Eldis utility tool shows that it's empty, so let's add a new user. Enter the username and phone number. Select the outputs that the user will be able to control. Allow this user to control until a specified date. After the specified date, this user will be deleted automatically. We can set the count of calls the user will be able to perform before they are removed from the database. Assigned schedulers can allow the user to control gates at specific times of the day or week. Press Write Settings to save the user to the database. In the Database Management section, we can also remove selected users or remove all users instantly. We can also save the user database to a file and load it from a file using the Eldis Utility tool. The filter option will let us find specific users by any user database parameter, whether it is the username or phone number. Now onto the Outputs Control section on the eSIM 420. In the Outputs section, we can name our output, change its startup state, choose the output type, and set the duration of the pulse. For each output, we can assign schedulers that will automatically open or close gates or doors at specific times. It's a great way to limit access and automate processes. Let's move on to the input section. We have three inputs that are designed to inform administrators via customizable SMS about the state of jammed gates or doors and so on. We can enable or disable inputs, set input delays. We can choose if we want to inform the administrators by SMS message when input is triggered. We already saw where and how we can use schedulers. Now, let's try to dig deeper. Let's create a schedule. A scheduler can be activated every day or on specific days, it's our choice. We can also limit access by setting the start time and end time. We can configure up to eight schedulers in total. Let's proceed to device settings and we will get back to cloud services later on. Part of the device settings are available in the administrators tab and we have already reviewed the features. Let's proceed to the next setting. Allow output control from any phone number. It will allow any incoming calls to actuate the device. Device SIM card settings. Here, we can fill an AP in settings if mobile operator requires it, DNS IP addresses if needed. If the operator does not support IMS Volte, then we could advise turning off this setting to ensure smooth device communication. Date and time synchronization option that I recommend Ensure is enabled in order to have the right time, it's very important for schedulers to work correctly. Let's proceed to the SMS notification tab. We can enable the periodical SMS message, which will periodically provide device information. We can pick time when to receive the message. By default, the system sends SEMS messages only to the first administrator. By enabling this parameter, the system will simultaneously send SMS messages to all preset administrators. The Startup SEMS feature informs the administrator about the device's start in case the power was cut off or the device was rebooted. We can adjust the default SMS notification limits to suit our daily or monthly needs and ensure they don't exceed the ordered SIM plan. Most valuable feature that our ISM 420 can offer is cloud services and the possibility to control our gates or door with smartphone, it also allows to administrate ISM 420 directly from web interface, so you won't need to connect device to computer directly. Let's go through the process of setting up cloud services. Device has the cloud services already turned on, and we only need to get to cloud services section to generate the smart ID code, copy it, click the right settings button to save the configuration to the device and go to the web browser. Let's go to the Cloud Services web page and click Register. Fill in the required information, check I agree, and press Register. An email with an activation link will be sent, so go and activate your account. Now for the fun part, let's log in to our main board. 
Here you will find instructions on how to get the Smart ID. You can either copy it from the Eldis Utility Tool or send an SMS message to the device and it will send you back the Smart ID. Write the device name, paste in the Smart ID tab. Optionally, you can type in the device phone number for informational purposes and you are good to go. After pressing the Add button, the process will start. It should take up to three minutes to synchronize device settings. If it takes longer, check the device FAQ section on our website for assistance. Once the setup process is complete, you can start using the cloud services. Now all we need to do is prepare the smartphone application so we can control the gates. Download the Eldis Gates application from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. After the installation is complete, open the application and enter the user phone number that is added to the device database. The phone number must be entered in international format without the plus sign. Enter the password, which by default is the last six digits of your phone number. Don't worry, the Eldest Gates application binds the user account to the phone itself, so no one else will be able to log in using your account. If needed, the password can be changed on the Gates Cloud website. Now press Login. Both EOS and Android users can control their gates directly from the application by simply clicking on the controller. Additionally, Android users can add a widget to the home screen. Keep in mind that different phone models have different ways to access the widget menu, so please refer to your phone manual for more information. Scroll through your list of installed widgets and select the Eldis Smart Gate widget in the menu. Select the gate controller that you want to manipulate. Rename it if needed, and press Save. That's it, the widget is now on your home screen. We kindly appreciate your interest in security and automation solutions made by Elvis. Please follow us on social networks to get the latest news while we prepare more product video reviews for you.